Hey, what's up guys? So in this video, we'll be wrapping up pretty much everything that's going to be in episode six. So in previous videos, I've gone over a new quest and everything like that without really hitting them on much as story. Now, if you don't want to be spoiled in the story, um, I will have a timeline at the bottom where you can skip ahead to other topics that we'll talk about. So if you're not interested in spoilers, interested in knowing what's going to happen in the story so far, if you want to go in as blind as possible, I would actually probably recommend it um, because the story episode six is really good. So if you want to skip ahead, I will have a timestamp at the bottom of different sections where I'll talk about. It'll probably be either two or three, because there's not much left in episode six to talk about. So I'm going to get as much crammed into one. And then the future videos will be tips and tricks and more class stuff and stuff like that. So without further ado, let's get into it. So first part is talking about story. So as you know, episode six is the finale. So you're probably wondering how long episode six is. Well, it's not terribly long. But, again, based on the progress of all other five episodes, it's going to dictate how good your story is going to be. So, I'll explain that. Now, as you can see here, my episodes two and three are pretty much gone. The reason being was they did the whole Matterboard thing, and a lot of people got, infect got affected by having some of their story progress either gone or missing. And as you can see, mine is just plain gone. And my episode four is like this far. So I've completed episode four, but this was the point when they did the matter board in which I progressed really far and then they decided to, for some reason, take it away. Now I'm stuck on this mission. Well, not stuck on this mission, but I'm on this mission right here. So I could go and play episodes one through three again, even though I've played it before and view the story again but i'd rather not <laughs> i i'd just rather not but anyway on episode six so episode six as you can see right here this is the normal route now had i done all rest of the story this would be a different route you would have normal route end and then you have the true ending which like i said i wish i'd have it here but it'll change once you get to that point so if you just scroll here and i'll just show you how long the quest is so right here through the story as you can see it just starts off with everyone figure out what the heck just happened pretty much just got thrashed by shiva and you can't touch her she's pretty much invincible and everything like that and they're trying to find out how to defeat the goddess of demise so if you're not caught up in story, Shiva is pretty much Harriet. And then you have Varuna, and then you have the third person, and I cannot remember the name. But anyway, they're trying to figure out, you know, how the heck do you defeat her? And, you know, Xiao gets pretty much killed in the story, so they're trying to figure out how to bring him back. So the story just revolves around you going back down to Amduskia and reviving him. So... The story here is pretty intense. Um, who gets killed in the story? Oh, I can't tell you that. <laughs> You're just gonna have to figure out, but there's a lot of battles in here and they're some pretty hardcore battles. But as you can see, the lengths on here, at this point in the story, I'm not too keen on Sal's new look. Looks a little, mm, I don't know. But at this point in the story, he figures out his new abilities, how you'd be able to fight back against Shiva and her lunatics. So it's very interesting how, you know, how the story plays out. And as you can see a picture, I, I'm not thrilled about his new look. I mean, it might grow on me, but eh. So in this point in the story, they're just trying to figure out how to either suppress Shiva's power, weaken it so he can fight back. And at that point, you go here to Harkotan, where, um, the Ash Maiden is trying to formulate a plan on, you know, how to either seal her power or weaken it so you can actually kill her. Uh, it works until it was a decoy and ended up killing, um, I cannot remember her name, one of Shiva's lieutenants, ends up killing her instead to figure out what they were up to. So at this point, it's just Shiva and Varuna left. So they're just trying to figure out how to get her trapped 
everything is back to Earth and stuff like that. And then they have an idea to go to Omega and say, huh, there's a spell they can use to encapsulate the entire universe so there's nowhere Shiva could run. So at that point, you fight Varuna. Now, quick little thing right now. If you do plan on doing this quest right here, the end of the God of Fidelity, be warned, he is level 100. So if you plan on doing this hardcore, you better be hardcore. Because this dude is hardcore. And it took me a while to take him down on hardcore. So if you have plans to do so, be prepared. Because it's going to be a long fight. And then you fight with him. You fight with yourself. And you fight with Harriet. So again, if you plan to do it on hardcore, be ready. So the story continues. Shiva's by herself. You killed Varuna. He goes to realization saying, save her, blah, 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 blah. So now the whole entire battle just pretty much plays like how it was when you fought Luther. That type of battleship. And then, you know, she has her own type of battleship. And this story right here, if you play on hardcore, she's going to be a level, I believe, either 100, 100 or 105. I can't remember which one, but it's a difficult battle. And this will be your second to last final battle. Now, depending on what you do between episode one and five, this will split off. So as you can see, since two and three for me is messed up and then four is not complete, I got the normal end, which pretty much you sacrifice yourself. Um, you go back in time, you become the profound darkness, sacrifice yourself, the end. The future is saved. Lame. But the true ending, you fight the primordial darkness in this very epic ass boss battle. And then you save pretty much the galaxy and the profound darkness is gone. So this is why I'm telling you to do your story. Because the ending, I had to watch it on YouTube unfortunately because I just don't want to watch all this, is really good. So this is pretty much the length of the story. I know I did a lot of talking, but as you can see, it's not very long. It's very action packed. So if you thought episodes one, two, and three weren't too action packed, which they were, but this more so over was, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. The ending is really good. The normal ending, it, it's just, eh, it's meh. I mean, if you just want normal to end that way, then that's fine. I mean, just end it normally. But I'm still on a conflict of what you do need to get the end, true ending. Um, I would say if you just have your story caught up, you'll be fine. Um, you have to fight Shiva on hardcore. That may be one. But, you know, on Reddit, I get conflicting answers. People are saying, oh, you're going to beat, you know, her on hardcore. You get the true ending. And I have others saying they did the same thing, but didn't have episodes one, two, three, and four beat and five. So, you know to each your own if you've been doing story you're good if you skip skipped a few you may want to do it or if you haven't done it but you want the true ending you may want to do it so there you go that's episode six story and yes it's very good so make sure you guys do your story and enjoy the ending of pso with that out of the way there are two other quests to go on so if you've skipped the head well okay now if you skip the head Welcome back. Um, there's two other quest types that are left in PSO2. So the next one will be Divide Quest. Now, I haven't played much Divide Quest. It's just a small party where you choose different routes to fight enemies. As you can see, the level difficulty is very high. So there's just five tabs. It's pretty much like a VR training. Um, episode 6 has a lot of VR training kind of stuff. Uh, urgent quest and everything like that. So this, of course, is going to be in there. So this is pretty much an analysis of just trying to figure out Shiva's abilities. So they run a VR quest to kind of figure out how strong she will. You may have the fighter in here. Um, again, I don't know. I haven't played this one, but um, if it's Shiva in there, um, I can't give you really, really tips to how to fight her. She's just very difficult. Um, knock her out of her seat. She takes more damage. She's in her seat. She takes less damage. And that's pretty much the fight quest. But that was more of how to fight Shiva. Um, can't remember how to get her out of her seat. I know during certain attacks she will get out of her chair and then you can be able to do normal damage and then when she's sitting down she takes like a quarter of the damage so it's a little weird. Lastly under extreme quest you do get level 100 solo training and level 100 training for a group. Now this here I've played 
maybe once and failed. So even the solo one played it once and failed. It's really hard because you can't use Dark Blast and you can't use Scape Dolls. And if you die, it's over. Pretty much how the uh, Fantastical Phantoms are, it's the same ordeal. You, you're dead, it's over. Can't use Dark Blast. Can't, can't use any of that. So if you're subbing Hunter, that's a great way to keep stay alive. If you're in a twelve, same thing. Hero, same thing. You can survive without dying, be on one HP, and then get back in the fight. So that's about it. Now, there is one thing I'm concerned about because I, it's not in episode five quite yet, but it might be coming later. Would be the feature quest for leveling up. That may be an episode six thing. I've seen online that it's a five, and it started off towards the end of five. Pretty much this quest here pretty much rotates daily. So every single day there's a different quest. You're fighting a bunch of bosses and stuff like that, or you're doing like the Mothership Interior, we're just running around, killing enemies, killing bosses, etc., etc. This might be an episode six, but judging how the content has been coming for episode five, this may be an episode five, so I don't know. But yeah, that wraps it up for this video. So my next few videos will be the remainder of, um, class reviews because I still have luster to do and I'm seeing if I want to do guides but anyway I'll just leave it off like this so if you guys enjoyed the video please give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more PSO2 content and there's actually some big news that will be coming up in December so stay tuned to that till next time guys peace alright so I went and goofed and forgot to talk about one more thing one more type of quest and ultimate quest that I forgot to discuss. So if you're still hanging out towards the end, um, yeah, this will be the rest of the part of the video for you. So it won't be too boring for you. So under ultimate quest, I don't know when we'll get this exactly. Probably be like part two, excuse me, part two of episode six, because they plan on doing part two in like January or February or something like that. But anyway, it's going to be ship infiltration. So pretty much you can play as a party of four or you can totally solo um if you do solo it'll put you at a different score category and if you're doing it with a group of four people it'll put you again in a different scenario so pretty much is you'll be going into shiva's ship infiltrating it avoiding like trip lasers and trip fires and stuff like that and just fighting all these enemies and bosses and stuff it's actually really cool a great way to get really rare items and stuff like that but it's pretty difficult so but you know if you're really good at the game a lot of people solo this stuff so if you do solo it you're scored differently so your um objections your objectives sorry may be a little different than if you were doing this as a group of four so just keep in mind a lot of the content for episode six will require you to be level 85 in both your main and subclasses but of course, if you're a successor class slash scion class, you're already good with just your main class. And so there you go. That's the last um, quest they will be. Now, I'm not sure if they'll release more. They may. I know they're going to keep updating the game at some point, adding new things, which will be great. You know, finished story. But there's so much more to do. I'm pretty sure Sega will find more stuff. There is a ton of more stuff. They can go back to areas in PSU or PSO episodes 1 and 2. Who knows? But I'm going to wrap up this video. Hope you guys have a nice one. Peace. Times 2.